baseball minds, but one of the greatest pitching minds. Okay, he was not an over analyzer. Okay, he kept it simple. You pitched for him if you threw strikes. Okay, plain and simple. If you threw strikes, you were pitching for him. In fact, he has a theory that I still use to this day. I tell our pitchers all the time. Okay, I just said it to him the other day. It's a three-step process. Okay, if you can do one of them, you give yourself a chance to be okay. If you do all three. I don't care what kind of stuff you have, you have a chance to win. And the step process is throw strikes. And you know, I talk to our guys and I see our guys say, okay coach, I could do that, okay? Yeah, you okay. Throw low strikes, okay? Coach, I can do that, okay? But when I say strikes and low strikes, I'm talking at about an 80 to 90% clip, okay? Not just every third pitch, not every fourth pitch, at an 80, 90% clip. And then it was throw strikes, throw low strikes, and be able to ball, move the ball in and out. And he said that 30 years ago to me, and it holds true to this day. If you could climb the stairs three steps, you're gonna have a chance to be a great pitcher at any level, okay? And again, you guys, as a group, could be sitting there going, Coach, that, you, know, you came all the way from Knoxville to tell us that? That's pretty simple. It's easier said than done, to be honest with you, man. I'm still striving for that each and every day with every single one of our guys to get to step one let alone step two, let alone step three, okay? But I think it starts in the bullpen structure, and the bullpen structure for me is just as much mental as it is physical, okay? A lot of guys, are, the pitchers get excited because, okay, now I get to do, I get to do a drill. I get to actually do something. I'm not shagging, I'm not funguing, I'm not uh, standing on a base taking a throw, I get to do something. But to me, it's just as much mental as it is physical. Okay, and I think there's a mental imagery, and I'm into imagery as much as I am mental game about seeing yourself do something before you do it. I had basically one good year in my career, and that's the honest truth. And I was part of a great team. That's probably what propelled me to have a great year as a pitcher. And I could tell you without lying that I'd actually see myself execute a slider before I even threw it. Okay, one of my, uh, a coach that was just on my staff last year, Bill Mozilla was my catcher, okay, back in junior college. And when I saw him put down the three before, and it's a split second. It's not because I'm in a tempo. It's a split second. I saw that ball come out of my, fing off my fingertips, and I saw the dot of the ball go under the barrel of a bat. Positive imagery, okay. Now, I said I had one good, one good year. I had many bad years, okay. Same deal. I saw that slider come off my fingertips, hanging up in the zone, and the guy hitting it over the second baseman's head into the gap. Okay? It's positive, and you, that could be trained. Okay, I know for today's kid, they look at me like, you're crazy, coach. You know, can't do that. That's, that's, uh, that's a habit that should be trained on a daily basis, of seeing yourself execute the pitch before you throw the pitch. And those, those are all the little things in a bullpen structure that I try to strive. It isn't just about going out.